Captain Thomas Dyer made history recently when he became the first Buddhist chaplain to serve in the United States Army. He's a southern boy and ex-Baptist preacher from the watermelon patches of small town Tennessee who sought a different kind of truth and discovered Buddhism. It just kind of fell into my lap, so to speak, or came to me, where I found a temple a mile from my house that I did not know existed. And in this temple, I would sit with two teachers for five years studying and meditating, which qualified me from a Buddhist perspective. And then I had prior military experience in the Marine Reserves and the National Guard. So all of it came together in a way in 2008 it became the first Buddhist chaplain in Army history. Chaplain Dyer deployed to Iraq in 2010 and took care of the spiritual needs of Buddhist soldiers in combat. Now he's the battalion chaplain for the 11th Engineers and provides a variety of Buddhist services and comprehensive soldier fitness to the engineers and many others here at Fort Benning. I have to care for soldiers in different areas, different battalions, different training schools that are Buddhist but they're low density in that area, so I have to care for that faith group. So what exactly is Buddhism anyway? Primarily, Buddhism is a methodology of transforming the mind. The mind has flux in it, or movement, past, future, fantasy, which causes us not to interact deeply with life. So Buddhism has a methodology, a teaching, and a practice of meditation. They help one concentrate in the present moment to experience reality as it is. And what about Zen? Zen practice is to be awake in the present moment, both in sitting and then walking throughout the day. So the idea is that enlightenment will come from just being purely aware of the present moment in the present moment. Chaplain Dyer conducts Sunday morning services at 0800 on Sand Hill, providing Zen training for basic trainees and a more traditional and authentic Buddhist service for everyone at 1800 in the sightseeing chapel. His Sunday morning service draws over 400 soldiers and is growing fast and is so popular that in just a few short months they have already outgrown the venue and just added a second 1000 service at Harmony Church. In the trade off, of course, you really want your students who, you know, they, they have their Title 10 or First Amendment right to practice their faith while they're in service and in training. Now the Sunday night service is for anyone, permanent party, force comm soldiers, retirees, civilians, anyone can come and participate in this if they wish. With so much interest and demand for Chaplain Dyer's services, I wondered what he thought about this incredible Buddhist phenomenon taking place here on post. It's been well received. You know the army draws its soldier population from the general civilian population. So the trends that are in the civilian population will then be reflected in the army. So we see Buddhism is kind of arising as an interest in the West and the United States. Buddhism in its other traditions like Mahayana and Theravada are becoming a part of American culture. So we can see it reflecting in the army. So when the army provides for that need, you see what kind of response you get. Chaplain Thomas Dyer is leading the way for Buddhists in and around the United States Army and providing expanded spiritual opportunities in faith and practice here at Fort Benning. If one does want to explore it, they ask the question, what can Buddhism do for me? The first and foremost answer is the relief of suffering. Yes. Ron Andrus, Fort Benning TV.